When Washington is bringing it, Husky Stadium is rocking, literally. You can feel the vibrations in the stands. Now it's up to the men in purple and gold to make sure that their visitors bow down to Washington. That's gonna do it here in the studio, but don't worry, we'll be keeping your finger on the pulse of everything that's going on everywhere else across the country. But right now, it's time for kickoff, and ESPN College Football, Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet are on the call. On the shores of the Puget Sound, we're in Seattle, Washington. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, and I'm joined by the former quarterback, Kirk Herbstreit. And we'll also hear from Aaron Andrews in a bit. Today's college football action is brought to you by Spark, who reminds you that what you can measure, you can improve. We've got the Oregon Ducks and the Washington Huskies. continues and we're here ready to bring you what appears to be another fantastic college gridiron matchup. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Spark who reminds you that what you can measure you can improve. Butler has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep to open up the ball game. Here we go, folks. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese? Let's have a look at what's going on in Morgantown. And for Maryland, they've dropped two straight. West Virginia finishes at 34-27. Thanks, Reese. No score in this one. For Oregon, Kirk, talk about this quarterback a little bit and how key he is to this offensive attack. The spread is one of the most wide-open formations around. It doesn't always favor the pass, but with five wide receivers from the shotgun, we have the potential to see the ball in the air a lot today. And he doesn't like what he sees. He's going to change the play here. Got a man. Watch out here. He's pushed out of bounds at the 45. Perfect time for the play action pass. Well, here the defense is looking for the run, and the play action put him in even a worse position. They just weren't ready for the pass there. He might be playing a cat and mouse game here with the defense. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And he's tackled around the 34-yard line. And there's a penalty on the play. Let's see who it's on. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. First and long. Ball on the 45 yard line. Bonds. Options out. They'll bring him down right around the 34. It's got to be frustrating for this offense to go backwards, but they've just got to stick with it and know that big plays will eventually happen. We've got second and long. Ball on the 34-yard line. Here's the option. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. Tackle made around the 37-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Woo! I think everybody in the stadium felt that hit. He really laid some lumber there. Looking to throw. He airs it out. Incomplete. Almost picked off. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Love is the punter.
And they push him out at the 32-yard line. They'll go to work at the 32. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Osborne drops to pass here on first down. And they make the stop around the 41-yard line. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He's out of bounds at the 43. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. The Buckeyes entered today's game ranked 10th and believing they weren't ranked high enough. This was a tight one to the very end. The Buckeyes get the win, 24-21. Elsewhere, the Cardinal come into the game ranked 6 in the nation. They've been quiet so far. They'll be plenty noisy if they win this one today. And for Stanford, they're looking for their fourth straight win. The Cardinal lead, 31-24. Thanks, Reese. No score in this one. From their own 43-yard line, first down. It's the tailback. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Back to pass. With the pass incomplete. The pass was incomplete. Number 88 was they need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. about the 43-yard line. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. From the 43-yard line, it's first down. Tailback, but he can't bring it in. Well, it was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the forty three. Feeds it to the back. He's taken down at about the 35. That'll bring up 32. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Looking for his man. It's broken up. So it's fourth down. What do you think they're going to do here? At this point in the game, they might as well go for it. They won't lose much field position if they don't get it, and they only have a couple yards to go. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They'll take over at the 20. Brought down around 
the 20 yard line. Trying to change the play. He's going to try and scramble. He's out to the 30. And he's taken down right around the 36-yard line. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. And he might change the play here before the snap. He's tackled at the 50-yard line. Franklin with the tackle at the 50-yard line. That makes it first and 10. And for Silva, looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. First and 10, ball on the 50-yard line. He drops back, lost the ball, fumble. And down he goes at the 47. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. The Cardinal take the field ranked number six in the country. And for Stanford, they put together four straight wins. Stanford finishes it off 31-24. And for Oregon, well, the writing's on the wall right now. They know they've got to win this game. Defense looking for another sack here on this second and 13 situation. Johnson gets the ball. Johnson makes carry. it to the 41. Gain of 12 on the play. Third down. This crowd a huge factor right now against this offense. Now he tries to buy some time. He's at the 30. And he's tackled at the 22. They've got a solid drive going here. But I know it's not going to mean that much without putting some points up on the board. And it looks like they're going to change it up here. They'll run the option. Makes it out to about the 13. That's a gain of nine on the play. That brings up second and one. He's changing things up. He's got the corner. Decent run here, right side. About seven yards there on the scamper from the halfback, and that's going to be good for the first. That's another rush from this halfback. This time, he does a great job of finding the opening in the defense and picking up a first down. First and goal from the five. They're knocking on the door. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Touchdown, Ducks! That's what makes this offense so tough to defend. When you have a quarterback with the ability to run and throw and he gets down into this area of the field, chances are he's going to find his way into the end zone. Oregon with a six-point lead. He splits the uprights with the extra point. An eight-play, 78-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Quarterbacks love to see their running backs making big plays because what that does is it forces the defense to have to pay so much attention to the running game that it takes some of the pressure off of the pass rush, and it gives the quarterback more options to be able to throw the football and more time to be able to execute in the pass game. And he's tackled at the 20-yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. They'll drop him for a loss. Man, did he play that perfectly or what? As a linebacker, you have to be able to read the offense and make a quick diagnosis, which is exactly what he did on that play from their own 18-yard line. Second down. He's got it out to his tight end. That's a great tackle at the 25-yard line. Kearney gains seven yards with a catch there. Third and five. Ball on the 25. Ah! 
Fires up to his receiver. They'll bring him down at the 39. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. This game's still pretty close. 7-0, Oregon. From their own 44-yard line, it's second down. Looks to pass. He sails it long. Almost intercepted. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance. But that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. They'll line it up again on third down. Nice play fake. Gets it out quickly to the back, but he can't haul it in. Butler awaits the snap. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Defense looked like it jumped early there. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. Out to the tailback, and he dropped it. And they lose possession on down. You know, that was one of those situations where you have to go for it to try to get something going. Now they need a big play here from their defense. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Oregon is up by a touchdown. He's scrambling. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. That makes it 30 15. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. And this crowd is going crazy. Bonds drops back to pass. He throws it, and oh, he dropped it. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. Time to set sail for Annapolis. And for Georgia Tech, they're struggling to take control of this game. Navy on top, 7-3. Well, you can never look ahead a week, but that would be a pretty big upset if that score holds. Love is waiting for the snap. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. 
They'll go to work at the 20. Fires incomplete, knocked away. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 20. Off to the right. Makes it to the 34. It's first and ten. Ball in 34. They come out in a five wide set. Osborne drops back, and he's level at the 50. What a play. Boy, a solid job there by the quarterback, recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 50. away here on second down. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. Call it a game of three yards. That'll bring up third and two. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Has some daylight. He's at the 30. He's knocked out of bounds at the 22-yard line. From the 22-yard line, first down. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. This is the eighth play of this drive. On play action. Throws to the back quickly, off his hands, incomplete. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. And so it's another third down upcoming here. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. And the wideout couldn't drag a foot. Yeah, but he showed really nice hands on that play. That brings up fourth and seven. So the officials taking a look at this play to see if the receiver got a foot in bounds. Regardless of the outcome of this review, I still think that this guy made an excellent catch. So the review confirms the call down on the field. The receiver was out of bounds. They'll line it up for the field goal. It's up. And it sails through the uprights. Looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He boots it deep downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. 
Oregon holds a four-point lead. Bonds gets the ball. You're not going to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. From their own 21-yard line, second down. Bonds gets the call. He's out to the 30. Tackle at the 42-yard line. That's a gain of 21 on the play. First down. Appears that he's changing things up here before the snap. Now he's scrambling. He's at midfield. And he's taken down at the 45. Well, this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. That makes it first and 10. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Looks like he might audible out of that play. He's on the run. And he hits him hard at the 39-yard line. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll bring up second and three. They're calling an audible. They'll give it off here. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. On the give. And he carries the ball for a nice game. This flag came from the umpire, and that means this is probably holding. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. Oregon is up four. Drops back to pass. Slings it. Jones, the return man. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. The offense will start at the 20-yard line. Looking to throw. And down he goes at the 28-yard line. Washington's going to use their first time out of the half here. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He drops back. Quick throw incomplete. One of his receiver. That looked like the same play they just called. Yeah, it was. The defense was ready for it this time. Third down. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Toss right. And they make the stop around the 30-yard line. Fuller gains about two yards on the run. Johnson is back to receive. Tackle made at the 29. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Oregon is up by four. 
find anyone open. Drop down right around the 32-yard line. Throws a laser across the middle. Williams picks him up around seven yards with that catch. He has such a quick first step. Once he made that initial move to the inside on the slant, he already had the space he needed for the first down. He scrambles. He's at midfield. He's taken down around the 47-yard line. That's a gain of 14 yards on the play. And it looks like they're going to change it up here. Scrambling around. He's tackled at the 45-yard line. That's good for a game of two yards. That could be a check with me right there. Now he tries to buy some time. He's at the 30. He's pushed out of bounds around the 25-yard line. They've got a solid drive going here, but I know it's not going to mean that much without putting some points up on the board. Now let's hear from Aaron Andrews on some injury news. What do you got for us, Aaron? Guys, the news is not great. After doing a more thorough examination, they have confirmed that his collarbone is broken. With the severity... And it's intercepted in the end zone. When they had to, they just found a way to get to the ball and prevent the touchdown. That is a clutch play. their own 20-yard line. First down. Ah. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Turning the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Makes it to the 22-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. Third down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Folks, that's the end of the first half, and this game's getting interesting. Oregon's up by four. Just about set to start the second half. If you're an offensive guru, you hated the first two quarters. We'll see if the offenses can come to life here in the third quarter. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. All right, we go down to Aaron Andrews for a quick update. Brad, the sidelines were electric in the entire first half. Looks like the guys are really having fun and are wrapped up in this tight game. I haven't seen this much cheering in a long time. Both teams showed that they can run the ball, so the coaches were happy about that. Back up to you, Brad. Let's see if they can generate some excitement in the crowd on this series. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. Turning the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 22. Tackle made at the 29 yard line. That'll bring up third and four. They're about four yards away here on third down. And he 
was tackled right around the 34. Wow, that was close. I think the officials marked the spot correctly, and it gives them the first by an eyelash. From their own 34-yard line, it's first down. He wants it all going long. Can't connect. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on him. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. Might have been some early movement up front. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. So it's second down and 15 after the penalty. Bring him down around the 27-yard line. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. Third and long here, and they hope to convert another one and keep this drive going. He drops back. Caught open field. Tackle at about the 45. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Another run. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Tackled for a loss. Loss of one there for the halfback. That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He fights forward to about the 46. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. That'll make it fourth and two. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. They're crowding the line. Again with a carry. Up the middle for a nice game. That makes it first and ten. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? This offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. They get nice yardage on that run. He gets four, maybe five yards on the counter. That brings up second and five. From the 36-yard line, second down. Osborne, back to throw. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Goes over the middle, intercepted. He didn't throw it away under pressure, and it really cost him. It sure did. He saw that he was going to get hit and just threw one up for grabs. He's got to learn to take the sack. From their own 33-yard line, 
First down. Oregon holds a four-point lead. Bonds on the option. He makes it to the 35-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. And that's the freshman who got in on that tackle. And he's taken down at the 35-yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. And this stadium is alive. Fires to the wide out. First down. Number 53 makes the tackle at the 46-yard line. First down. Tackles him hard at the 48. How about that play? It's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. They'll go with the option. He tackles him for a loss. He's on the run. Number That's a great tackle at the 41-yard line. That's a gain of eight on the play. First down. Oregon is up four. He's back to pass here on first down. Fires quick. He catches another. And down he goes around the 34-yard line. And we'll take a break while the injured player is attended to. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Back to throw, and now he's quickly on the move. And they make the stop around the 32-yard line. So the quarterback scrambles for about two yards on the play. The safety came up from the secondary and made a nice, solid tackle. They'll spread the field with five wide. They're changing the play. Now he's scrambling. Dives, and he's down. Looks like he might audible out of that play. Looks over the middle, and it's picked off. And he is drilled at the 22. And the quarterback just can't believe it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. However, hey, a pick is a pick, and no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back. From their own 22-yard line, first down. complete over the middle. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. What a game we have going in Gainesville. The Wildcats strike through the air, getting into the end zone for a touchdown. And for Peters, he's caught one for a touchdown. Kentucky's on top, 21-20, at the start of the fourth quarter. 7-3 in this one. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Halfback gets the call, and he answers big time. First and ten, ball on the 36. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Fires that quickly, incomplete. That makes it second and ten. 
from their own 36 yard line. Second down. And he's immediately tackled. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Hang on tight, folks. We head to the fourth quarter in what could be a shocker. Oregon's up by four. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Him down in the backfield. The intended receiver on the play. That brings up fourth and seven. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. He's tackled at the 25-yard line. So they go to work on offense again here late in the fourth quarter. And with the lead, an opportunity to put this game away. Oregon is up by four. Bonds gets the call. Makes it to the 41. That's a game of 16 in the play. First down. Give to the tailback. He's taken down the 39-yard line. I like the combination of speed and strength that this quarterback plays with. He's a real valuable part of the defense. From their own 39-yard line. Second down. They go with the counter, and he's got room to run. He makes his way to about the 48. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. That could be a check with me right there. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. I thought they might have been able to exploit the over-pursuit of the defense, but not on that play. From their own 49-yard line. It's second down. He's going to try and scramble. He gets sacked on the play. And for Reese, he's now gotten to the quarterback twice. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. And this stadium is getting loud. Here's the give. Tackled after a decent pickup. And he'll be stopped well short of the first down. You had the lead in the fourth quarter, and it's third and long. Why risk a turnover? Just play it safe and work the clock. Love can pin him deep in their own territory with a good punt here. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Just perfectly executed by the punt unit in a crucial time in this game. They'll set him up for a long field now. Once it all, going deep. Doesn't get there. Yeah, any time a quarterback makes a throw like this, the best thing a wide receiver can do is come over to the quarterback and pat him on the back and tell him to shake it off and let's make the next play a better play. 
The worst thing you can do is put your arms up in the air as if you're blaming the quarterback. Come over, tell him it's all right, and you move on. And he's level at the 15. That is a loss of five on the play. That makes it The smart and quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five wide set, and he comes in with his dime package. He goes downtown. Oh, what an interception. He's tackled right around the 42 yard line. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. The midshipman of Navy ready to go in Annapolis. And we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. Back and forth, these two teams go, neither one giving an inch. We could be headed to a photo finish. And for Stevenson, he's punched one into the end zone on the ground. The midshipmen have the lead, 21-20. People were predicting some upsets this week, but I'd be shocked if that score holds up. From their own 42-yard line, it's first down. And he hits him hard at the 45-yard line. Gain of 13 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Oregon holds a four-point lead. And a quick throw. Brought down at the 27-yard line. Well, the defensive backs completely jumped the run. Only the run was never there. It was just that misstep that allowed the completion. We'll wait and see here if he really does change the play. They'll bring him down at the 24-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. There was simply no daylight on that play. The defender came in and dropped the hammer. They'll change the play at the line of scrimmage. Not to the receiver, and it's knocked away. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 17. Really a factor with a crowd noise here. Play fake, looking to run. Tackle around the eight yard line. How about that conversion on third down? Good push here by the guys up front, and they are really starting to work hard in the trenches. They're calling an audible. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And he tacks on the extra point. A five-play, 45-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning. Loose football. He picks it up. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. We got a flag down on the field. Might have been offsides. And he helped the offense with that penalty. And you have to be careful here because the offense will get a free play, which could become even more costly than the five-yard penalty. First down at five to go. Ball on the 30. Throws this one out to the left. And he's got the junior to the 20. And a huge touchdown play. Great effort by the wide receiver. And not to take anything away from the quarterback, but the wide receiver made this play.
They'll go for two in this situation. They don't get it. Going for two, I think, is the right thing to do, but their play calling left something to be desired. Butler looks ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. He's to the 10. Tackle at the 23. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. I think it's pretty obvious they've got to keep the ball on the ground here. Take as much time off the clock as possible. They'll start this drive at the 23-yard line. And he has it on the corner. Nice run to the outside. That's a game of five on the play. That brings up second and five. Trying to confuse the defense here with the audible. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's taken down at the 41-yard line. Call it a gain of 13 yards. First down. Less than three minutes in the game. Possibly changing the play here prior to the snap. Here's the option. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. Gain of eight yards. That'll bring up second and three. Young they need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. goes at the 45. The defender wanted a head start and they certainly got him for it. Complete for six yards and that's good for a first down. It's a good play call. A quick safe pass to a sure-handed receiver. That keeps the drive alive. From the 45-yard line, first down. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. The Huskies will use their first time out of the half. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball in the 47. Young on the run. That's a great tackle at the 46. Washington's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. Everybody on their feet. Drops back to pass. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And this will be pretty much it for this offense. They need to capitalize on this possession. Just under two to go in the game. Osborne back to pass here on first down. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 24-yard line. And it looks like they're going to change it up here. And he stops the clock with a spike. From their own 24-yard line, it's third down. Looks to pass. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Ray, the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and six. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Back to pass. Receivers got the first down. Tackle made around the 36-yard line. Looks like he might audible out of that play. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. That ball. That's 
Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. So the penalty makes it first and 15. Drops back to pass. Strike to his receiver, no good. Number 88, the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up second and 15. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. Third and long here with a vital drive in the fourth quarter, and they need a conversion. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Back to pass. And he is drilled at the 41. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. And he might change the play here before the snap. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He's looking to pass. And that just might do it. Intercepted. And now he's got room to run. He's at the 40. To the 20. The 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. And it's the defense that comes up with a play of the game that should ice this one. And he adds the extra point. Oregon is ready to kick it away. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. And the kicker comes in to make the tackle. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Yellow Jackets came into the game ranked 7. They're now bungee jumping, and the cord's going to break. And for Navy, they continue their winning ways. Navy sinks them 21-20. Well, that's an absolutely shocking upset. You can count on that one to turn the poles upside down when they're released. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five-receiver look. Looking to throw. Quick toss. And this one falls incomplete. Good effort there by the receiver, but just not enough room for him to get a foot down in bounds. Second and 10. Ball on the 24-yard line. He lets it fly. It falls incomplete. That would have been a great play if the throw were just a little bit more on target. From their own 24-yard line, it's third down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He drops back. He fires. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He drops back. He lets it go. In and out of his hands. They're ready to begin another drive. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. He'll go down to one knee. Washington will take their final timeout. 
And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. And so that's going to do it. The Ducks take this one. 21-9. 21. The Huskies, 9. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? Well, no doubt about it. This is a pretty big mismatch. Washington actually played a good ball game today. They just didn't have the horses to match their counterpart. They need to start recruiting to build this program back up. Here's a look at our player of the game. EA Sports will donate $10,000 in his name to his school's general scholarship fund. For the Ducks, they start their season off in perfection and they notch their third straight win. And for the Huskies, they couldn't have imagined a worse Thank start than this as they fall to 0-4. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 13. For Kirk Herbstreit and Aaron Andrews and Reese Davis in the studio, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.